to the final fights of semi-final night National Fighting Tournament Season 2 coming to you live from SA Gardens at Kala Shakaku. This is NFT2. Aap ghar bethi huye me dekh rahe live platforms, Facebook or YouTube par jis me pages hai SA Garden, NFT or PMMAF. In tino platforms par, in tino pages par aap hume Facebook or YouTube par live dekh sakte hai. Hum almost finale tak pahunt chuke hai. Two more fights remaining and then we'll have the final tomorrow from the same venue of SA Gardens at Kala Kaku. We've got an interesting fight once again between Islamabad and the 8th team in the women's category. We found her! Finally! Bhai, he's coming, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Stop it. There's no problem. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the second last fight of the evening. Rabia, team 8 in the blue versus Bushra from team Islamabad in the red. And here we go underway. It's go time. Bushra Ahmed, Islamabad. Rabia Ahmed from Woo! Balochistan team 8. Now Bushra immediately looking for the trip. Oh, non-stop shots to the face. Rabia hitting with hard shots, but taken down by Bushra there. Bushra using that size advantage well, power advantage. Now she has her back, but oh. has her head trapped in the arm, but she will easily come mm. on top of her again. Good weight management. Good weight management by Bushra right now. Controlling her opponent. But Rabia seems to be landing these small shots constantly, and these are adding up. Oh, ragdolling her now. Bushra Ahmed likes to call herself the unicorn she and she might just out. put her out early here. Ooh. Tough spot to be in. Bushra Ahmed looking for an RNC there. Mm. 
Now Bushra Ahmed has the back. Rabia Batul. Rabia, pardon me. Not Rabia Batul. Actually, Bushra's moved to her side now, which is not good for her or her choke, but it's a good position for her nonetheless, not in any kind of danger. Rabia needs to move, create some space, get out of this as soon as she can. A lot of this is in the hips. Like, if you're able to explode, bump and explode out of these situations, it's good for you. But if you have your back, the best thing to do is to remain calm, not give out any kind of an advantage. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put your leg on top of the other person's leg. It's not going to do much. Yep. But Bushra is doing some good... Uh, I'm sorry, Rabi is doing some good hand control, not Bushra sinking the choke right now. And... Uh, Right Rabia performed really well as uh, yesterday as well, the Daniel. I right mean, off she's the got the strength. She's sta staying in there, not letting her opponent inflict mu much damage upon her. Right off the bat, you can tell Bushra has a strength advantage here as she clenches on to the body of Rabia, trying to get an RNC there. It's hard to see from this angle whether it's un under the chin or not, but referee Ovash Shah is looking closely. She's trying to sink in. She's trying to get the choke. Good movement, good hip movement by Bushra, uh, by Rabia. Pretty impressive, not letting Bushra, you know, get the choke in. Yeah, so but Rabia has uh, Bushra's right arm trap, which is why she is unable to successfully get that exactly. RNC in there. Bushra. Well, good dominant round by Bushra. Rabia probably signaling to the referee that no, nothing's going on. It's probably time to stand up, but now she's getting hit with some bombs here round. by Bushra. 10 seconds left. Bushra now unloading. We're going to go into the second round and stay right here. Do not go anywhere. We're going to go into the second round of the first semifinal of the In women's corners. featherweight category. Rabia versus Bushra. Corners. Do not go anywhere. Stay right here. NFT2. Next fight. Maskan representing Team Punjab and Itrat Fatma representing Balochistan. Rabia versus Bushra. Hello. Rabia in the blue, Bushra Ahmed in the red. This action is brought to you by SA Group and SAG MMA in association with the Pak Mixed Martial Arts Federation. Round two is underway. Good. Rabia moving in and out. Whoa, oh, good front kick by Bushra. By Rabia. By Rabia, my apologies. Rabia trying to attack on the break. She needs to keep her distance as Rabia does yeah. not need to get into any grappling exchanges because clearly we've seen a power advantage. Let's see how tired Bushra is after that first round where she had to control Rabia for the entirety of it. Rabia working on those feints. Bushra maybe trying to set up a Ooh. takedown just like that. Good Counters the low the kick with the right over the top. There you go. Rabia's got the opportunity now. Bushra has got the opportunity now. High up on the guard of Rabia. Oh, Bushra. And there you go. Nice sweep there by Rabia. Rabia did this before as well. Good job. The women are back on their feet. Rabia staying far away from Bushra. Expecting another takedown attempt maybe. Both fighters maintaining their distance. I think both are a little hesitant to engage. Bushra is trying to set up another takedown maybe, showing different feints to Rabia. Rabia circling right, left. Of course, we have to keep this in mind that this is an amateur bout. These girls are just racking up the experience. They have not experienced much cage time as of yet, right? So just they're just acclimating, getting used to the environment, the surrounding. And so much going on inside a fighter's mind during this time. Yeah, it's a very good point. I mean, adrenaline is on the next level. Sorry, Suman. No, I'm just saying most grown men wouldn't step inside a 
a, a cage or a ring or anything. Absolutely. And look I at these. Never, yeah. yeah, look at these girls. Nonetheless, we continue second round here of the first semi-final of the women's featherweight category. Bushra Ooh. saw that kick and immediately counters the left hook and now once again moving in. Bushra trying to use those hands. Oh good, Bushra just with a flurry. Bushra has got herself into a bulldog position. He needs to get out of it if she wants to go for a takedown. So when someone's trying to come in for a takedown, the last thing you want to do is start throwing body kicks because it makes you off balance and easier to catch your leg for a takedown. It's very true. Now Bushra moving to a double leg body lock. Oh, just let that one go. Oh, Ooh, and Rabia that just... that one on the exit there. Rabia was about to get hurt, but she just missed it. Good. Bushra tentative on the en entry, but when she does get there, she's throwing flurries. Rabia trying to throw whatever she can as well. Ten seconds to go into the second round. This is our second last oh. fight of the evening. A beautiful right by Bushra. And that was again. the story of the round so far. Yep. Bushra countering those low kicks with the right straight. And now we go to the third and final round. Yeah, Team going corners, Zaldi, please. Team corners. Going into the third round, I I would like Rabia to focus more on her boxing. She'll be less susceptible yep. to being taken down. Next fight. Even if she, she just, she just, she just throws competition. Ready. Itrat Fatma from Balochistan and Muskan from Punjab. Please remain ready. Salman, even if... in the blue this is the women's featherweight division Bushra now trying to cut the distance Rabia showing that front front kick Bushra moving in and out low That's kick missed there Bushra. see this is where I, I would like Rabia to throw maybe a, a cross or a hook or something like just like that and not those body kicks that keep getting her off balance whenever Bushra is leg kick. coming in Whoa! Almost, almost, Bushra almost connected to Rabia. Rabia has Bushra's head in a bit of a lock here. Both pressed up against the fence. Ra Bushra getting some shots in there. Bushra desperately trying to get the back of Rabia here to get her down on the mat. Rabia doing a nice job of maintaining her posture and her balance. Good job by Bushra by pressurizing Rabia up against the cage. Now landing knees to the body, trying to go for a double leg now. Let's see if she succeeds in doing this. Rabia with the hard shots to the body, distracting Bushra. Bushra needs to clasp her hands together behind yep. the legs and just lift her up. Exactly. But easier said than done when you have someone as tenacious as Rabia in front of you. Some knees attempted there by both fighters. Bushra fighting the hands of Rabia there. Trying to open up her torso to get a knee inside. National Fighting Tournament Finals tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. Exactly where you are watching. Do tune in. We have close to 20 fights. 16 finals for these tournament fights and four exhibition fights coming to you tomorrow. Do not miss it out.
Both women tired now. The last and final round. Bushra seems like she's given everything into this fight. You can just see from her body posture, her body language. And on the other hand, Rabia seems composed. Doesn't seem to be much out of breath as well. She, she seems composed, but she's not... Doing not, much. She, she's trying, but she doesn't... She's trying to close the gap, but she's... Oh! Good combination by Rabia. That, that's exactly what we'd like to see, but... She needs to throw another front kick. At least that was being a little bit effective. Yep, there you go. Another one. But when she that throws one the front land. kick, she becomes vulnerable to a takedown. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and time. We will go to the judges' scorecards once again tonight. Rabia and Bushra Ahmed fight to the end of the three rounds. Let's see how the judges see it. The judges scored this contest 30, 27, 29, 28, and 29, 27. For your winner by unanimous decision. And moving on to the finals, Bushra!